So uh, this particular passage that, that we've chosen from the book is, um, is, was just before Passover. I believe it was the day before Passover. <laughs> Absolutely, 19th of April, 1943. Can you, can you set that up for me? Can you tell me about that day and, and then what happened? Well, this day has to go, uh, okay. It, w what happened was any normal day, we didn't know that the Jewish underground that existed, of course, the underground. By underground, I mean the guerrillas, the, the few hundred men and women that actually started to resist the German on 19th of April. <clears throat> OK, it was a perfectly normal day that my parents and my sister went to work. I remained behind with my grandmother. And I was born like very bored, and I decided to go across once more before the holiday. Now, my grandmother begged me not to go because she says, it's a, it's a holiday coming, forget about it. But I said to my, to my grandma, grandma, I have to go. Tell me what would you like me to buy? And she says, garlic, a, a, a little eye of garlic. And I went across. I went across with the, with the idea of coming back, not the same day, but sleep over on the Polish side at the place that used to make money from letting Jewish people sleep at his place. And my plan was to stay there and come back to ghetto in the morning to catch the people that are going to work to do my little trading. Can you talk just a little bit about the person who helped you, who gave you shelter? Okay, on the outside the ghetto, there was a family that made a living by giving smugglers like myself a place to spend night outside the ghetto so we could have an early start next day. And that particular day on 19th of April, 1943, okay, I left, I left the ghetto promising to buy some garlic to my grandmother and I went to the place, to the shelter where I was spending my nights before I went back to the ghetto and I went to sleep. There were three other smugglers staying with me in the same room. In the middle of the night I was woken up by, by the man who says Arthur, Arthur, ghetto is burning. In the beginning, I said, well, the ghetto is burning all the time, so fine, if we cannot go back today, we go there tomorrow. So he says, no, it's something different. I think he says, this is the end. Well, at this time, I was wide awake, and I went outside. There were thousands of people outside the ghetto, and I realized that was the end and the German soldiers were amassed with machine guns, hand grenades, guns, and uh, shootings was going on. Never, never before the Jewish resistance was that strong. That had to be the end, and it was the end. That, uh, that was the beginning of the Jewish uprising, 19th of April, 1943.